Lucas and Chloe, it's so good to see you all. And thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Yeah, Man, it's so good uh, to finally meet you and to talk about these songs. First of all, congratulations. You guys have created uh, an incredible album. And our, our team has just loved listening through these songs. And the more that we get to know the team there at Circuit Riders and hear the heart behind why you do what you do and, and the people that you're ministering to, these songs have really come alive. And there's so much more uh, context in the songs when you know uh, the heart behind them. And so, um, but this song, I'd love for you guys to talk about it. Uh, a song called, I really love you. It's a super intimate song. I love the lyric here. Um, and I'd love to hear you guys talk a little bit about it. You know, just the, you know, the verses of this song are, are so amazing. And, you know, what I love about this course is it's really simple. Sometimes, you know, when, when you sing a song, if there's a lot of content in those verses, you just get to that point of the song, you know, in a course where you just want to, you want to have like something that's really simple, very repetitive, just to take mm -hmm. a minute and just really worship, you know, and not, you know, in some ways, you know, just, you know, give your, your, your brain a break for a minute and let your heart kind of take over. But you guys talk a little bit about this song and just the inspiration behind it. Yeah, I think um, it was really fun. Me and Chloe were leading a night of worship for our, our school here and, um, just spontaneously, Chloe started singing this melody and it turned into the chorus of, I really love you. And I think we probably sang that for like close to so like long. Straight, <laughs> so long. Everybody was just like, you know, super into it, worshiping the Lord. And um, then shortly after that, we broke into actually the bridge, the All I Want Is You. And that went on for just as long, probably another 30 minutes. And then we started incorporating both, you know, Chloe's chorus, the I really love you to the, to the bridge and back and forth. And it just a powerful time of worship. Um, that's kind of where this song really originated from, um, was a place of worship, which is super fun. We love writing from out of a place of worship. Um, and then it was like months later, we had like geared up to like write for a project and me and Chloe started talking. I was like, hey, you remember that night that we we did that like crazy moment we had in worship? And she was like, yeah, I remember that. And I was like, yeah, we got to write around that. Um, to then it being like, we got in a room and just started just like praying, asking Lord, like what he wanted to say in this song, you know, in the verses. And that's where like, it became like this whole thing of like, we, our eyes are open. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. this whole moment, like the idea of the verses is like, I never saw you for who you are. Now my eyes are open. I can see you now. Yeah. And it, it's all on this, this idea of like, man, we wanted to set the chorus up so well of like, all I really want to say is I, I love you, you know? And the best way to how to do that is like personally get in the story of like, what did he do for me? Like, mm -hmm. how did, how did he change everything for me when I, when I first saw him, it wasn't like, a, there was nothing else I could really say, but like worship, there was nothing else I could really say, yeah. but I love you. Like, thank you for like coming in and your grace and your love and showing me who you really are. Like I can see you for who you really are now. And um, that's kind of like how the first verse started. I don't know if Chloe, you want to jump in and yeah, shoot, yeah, you know yeah. Something really cool about that worship night was we were getting ready. Our team was our school to go out on tour where we go to all these different university campuses. And I remember that day I was walking dogs and I got so rocked by the Lord. We had a teacher come. Her name's Joy Dawson. She's in her 90s. She's an absolute legend with YWAM. And she taught for like eight hours straight. So it was so long. And But in the middle of it, she would just stop and she would blow kisses to God. And I thought that was so, you know, like it was cute. She's 90. I was like, that is so cute. I don't know if I could ever do that, but I love that. And then on that worship day, as I was walking dogs, I was listening to a podcast about worship and they brought up this Greek word for worship that meant to like lay prostrate. And then some people would add to blow kisses and adoration. And I have this aha moment that this 90 year old teacher literally was just acting wow. out worship. And it was so childlike. And I, I had this conviction, like, 
Lord, have I, have I been too serious? Like, are you looking for me to be like a child in worship? And so we just went into that worship time. I think I was super amped up just to be childlike. And I think the Lord blessed it, obviously with that chorus, but it was probably one of the simplest songwriting times ever. It's just such a gift from God. Wow, man, that's yeah. so cool. I'm going to try that next time I'm in church. I'm just going to, I'm just going to start blowing, <laughs> just start blowing. Them, blowing kisses. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's so amazing. The, um, talk a little bit about, I mean, just the, you know, you mentioned it, Lucas, the, these verses are, are really like evidence or, or more of the reasoning behind, you know, why you would sing that chorus, like what has God done, you know? And I think about, you know, I always think about audience when I think about worship songs and, you know, I could see you guys leading these songs and you've, you've probably got, you know, as most churches do, you've got people in the congregation that have known the Lord for a while. Then you've got some that have maybe just come to the Lord and, um, and then a, a thousand different backgrounds and different things that people have been through. But just to sing these lyrics of, you know, your heart of mercy pouring over yeah. me, you know, is uh, you would call a sinner to bring you glory. You know, th- it's such a powerful statement. And maybe talk about that a little bit. Uh, and maybe what you guys experienced just leading the song. We wanted the verses to be super relatable, you know, and there's, I don't think there's anything more relatable than your own personal story of how Jesus met you. And I think that's something that always sticks with you like forever, you know, like that first moment that you like encountered Jesus in a really real way where it changed everything. And I think that's where we really wanted to hone in with the verses Um, Even for myself, it's like, I'll never forget the moment where I first encountered his presence, like where I first saw him for who he was, or that when he came in, like, in my mess or in my dirtiness and, like, Mm. said I was worthy or said he loved me. Like, I'll never forget those moments. So I feel like for, for corporate worship with this song and why anybody can relate to it is, like, everybody has a story from from something like that does that make Mm -hmm. sense like yeah and it sets the course up so well to just say something so easy back to him it's just like i love you like there's nothing else i can say but like i love you like i I can't i have no reason why you came and chose me and and cleansed me from all my sin from my dirtiness from all from you know what i mean and and chose to use me in your glory like Mm. I can't, there's no reason for that other than like, he loves you. So I don't know. It was just like something really cool. We just want to be like, man, we want, we just want to say we love you back. You know, like yeah. we just want to say we love you back. It was, it was just really simple. Yeah. And I love that, you know, as much as God has done for us, the that's the only thing that he asked for in return yeah. was, was our love back to him. You know, yeah. and I love that it's simple like that. So good. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing the song with us. We really appreciate it. I'm really excited for churches to be able to hear this new music and maybe some people that aren't familiar with Circuit Riders yet and what the ministry is all about to connect uh, with what you all are doing. And so thank you for taking the time to share it with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.